Good evening. It is a pleasure to be here with you virtually. Um, we thank God for 
technology and the ability to do this live stream. And so uh, the theme of our program tonight is Lord of My Heart. And we just hope that you are encouraged tonight uh, to recognize Christ as Lord of your heart. Uh, in the midst of all this um, uncertain time with COVID-19 and everything that it has brought. So wherever you are, whether you're on your couch, in your living room, in your kitchen, wherever you are, we invite you to join with us and worship God, the Lord of our heart.
the song about the Holy Spirit um, and just the message it has of how the Holy Spirit has always helped believers along the way. And in the past with persecution, um, it was there to meet the challenge of today. And yeah, just like then, today, it is also there. And I'm thinking now of the current situation, COVID-19, um, we need it more than ever. And as our, as our prayer here, and yeah, come Holy Spirit. vision and um, here at term we had I think it was the third weekend um, we had uh, meetings um, it was mission um, conference or mission meetings and Rick Rhodes was the speaker and um, through that and through a lot of other things um, we have been learning to to hold life with open hands um, and that's something that has been um, big for me is opening my hands and allowing God to um, show me what he wants, not only what he wants, but also am I willing to open my hands and say, um, God, I'll be where you want me to be, I'll go where you want me to go, um, before I even know what that is. And so this song is really my prayer, um, asking God to, to be my vision.
This next song speaks um, about reflecting Christ. It was written quite a few years ago at fifth term um, of 2014. Um, I was there with a, a brother and sister, a sister penned the lyrics and the brother sets in the music. And over the years, it's, it's been a really touching song and a really powerful song for me. And it says, may we reflect you in the words we say, in the lives we live, in the prayers that we pray. May we reflect you from day to day. May we reflect you. And so it talks in, in such a simple yet powerful manner of us as a reflection of something. We will always reflect something, just like a mirror always reflects something. We also are going to reflect something. And it's just what we allow ourselves to reflect. The song goes on to talk about when we're laughing, um, when our heart's ringing with joy, when there's peace to be found. It's easy to reflect Christ. But then in the times when it's hard to hold our heads up, um, in the times when there just doesn't seem to be a way forward, that's when it's very difficult to reflect Christ. And so the song is just a really powerful testimony um, of a desire to reflect Christ no matter what the circumstances are.
Yes, we trust that Christ has been reflected tonight in the program. Certainly a privilege to present this program tonight, and we're very grateful for the opportunity to do it. Thank you to Andrew and the choir for their hard work, and thank you to Logan Weaver for his hard work making the live stream possible. Trust you're enjoying that tonight. Probably there's a number of you out there tonight wondering how it's possible to do a presentation like this amid the circumstances which we find ourselves in the nation. So the, the choir that's presenting the program this evening has been in temporary residence here at SMBI since February 26th or before. And then after the COVID-19 crises broke in mid-March, the Institute closed its doors to visitors over two weeks ago on March 16th and entered a self-imposed stay-at-home policy even tighter than the current Pennsylvania mandates. So in regular communication with the local Pennsylvania State Patrol, including today, the board of SMBI exercised discretion as a religious organ organization to continue in session through today, April 1st. Tomorrow, these choir members will return to their places of permanent residence under the current policies and regulations in place in those locations around the country. The three-week tour, which this choir was preparing for and was scheduled to leave on Saturday, has obviously been canceled. And so tonight is their one opportunity to present their work of the past weeks. They were planning to travel to Kansas, Colorado, Utah, Texas, back through Mississippi, Georgia, South Carolina. So they had quite a, a tour planned, but obviously that can't happen. To those of you that are listening who are planning to host the choir, thank you for receiving the choir in your churches, and we hope it will work out for the choir to come at some time in the future. We do invite you to visit our website at smbi.org. That's smbi.org. There's a music store there where you can purchase choir CDs, all the course information and schedules for the coming school year can be found there. And at this point, we are planning for and working toward a normal schedule next year. There's online registration available for the regular study tour terms next year, beginning in September. And we have a unique program called Journey, which is the end of October, a 10 or 12 day hands-on learning type of experience with hiking or canoeing. So kind of a non-traditional learning experience. You can also visit the support page there at smbi.org for contributions or to set up recurring contributions. Also on the support page or in the Institute newsletters, you can find information about the first phase of our current housing project that is ongoing. We have a purchase agreement for an adjacent property, about 17.7 .7 acres, with closing scheduled for July 30th. So you can Find more information on that on our website. Also, you can follow our Facebook page for updates about events or announcements as we navigate the uncertainties of these coming months. We do thank, thank you for your prayers and support in the past weeks and past years and beyond and covet that as we continue into these summer months ahead. To end this short intermission for the choir, I'd like to share just a couple words of ins inspiration for you. At the beginning of this journey, as the crises broke in mid-March, I was reading in 1 Samuel one night, and God gave me this verse, which has given me a lot of courage and a, and a lot of us here at the Institute Courage in these last days says, therefore, stand still 
and see this great thing which the Lord will do before your eyes. And certainly that's a good word for us in these uncertain times to stand still as the Israelites did at the Red Sea and see what God will do for us. I'd like to share two words with you. One little word that makes all the difference in the English language. A little word that starts with a B. Think about this sentence. So the stranded boaters were swept toward the brink of the falls, but at the last minute, and that little word but makes all the difference in a story or a situation. It indicates some kind of turning point, for better or for worse, but it's a turning point. Now think about combining that little word with another three-letter word, that is God, but God. That becomes incredibly powerful. Think about some of these verses. Joseph said to his brothers, he said, As for you, you thought evil against me, but God meant it unto good. David, David abode in the wilderness, in the strongholds, remained in a mountain in the wilderness of Ziph, And Saul sought him every day, but God delivered him not into his hand. The psalmist in Psalm 73 looked around and became very discouraged, disillusioned, almost lost his way. And verse 26 says this, My flesh and my heart faileth, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. In the New Testament, Rich Fool had plans. He thought he had his life all put together. He had bumper crops. He was going to tear his barns down and build bigger. But God said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Think of the resurrection. Paul describes it this way in Acts. And when they had, or Luke describes it, and when they had fulfilled all, All that was written of him, they took him down from the tree and laid him in a sepulcher. Seems like the end of the story. But God raised him from the dead. And that makes all the difference. What about temptation? There hath no temptation taken taken you but such as is common to man. But God is faithful. Who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able? And then, of course, in Ephesians 2, passage opens describing us in our sin. But God, who is rich in mercy for his great love, wherewith he loved us, has redeemed us, raised us up to sit in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. And back to Proverbs A man's heart deviseth his way, but the Lord directeth his steps. And that especially is a verse that we've also hung on to these last weeks. There's been so many changes, so many disappointments. And as we think of other people outside of here, so much has changed. Man deviseth his way, but the Lord directeth his steps. These are indeed trying and confusing and difficult times, but God. Invite God in. Let God in. Watch for what he is doing in whatever the circumstance you find yourself in at this moment, but God. We thank you again for watching. We pray you are blessed and encouraged tonight through this presentation. The choir will be coming back momentarily, but before they come, let's pray. Father, we thank you for being the Lord of our heart. Father, may you truly be Lord of our heart, not just in word, but in reality. Father, difficult times have a way of purging. 
of pruning. May we experience that in these times. And Father, as we look around, we see things that are happening, we can be caught in fear and worry and trouble. But God is the strength of our hearts. So Father, may we be encouraged in you tonight through the gift of music. Thank you for this opportunity to present this to the world, to the community tonight. Father, we thank you, and may you be honored and blessed, and I pray for them. this group as they travel home tomorrow, that you would prepare the way before them, May you would take them safely to their destinations and bless them in their transition of the coming days. Father, we commit the rest of this program to you, to your kingdom, in Christ's name. Amen. We were practicing it for weeks, but it didn't really come alive to me until this past Sunday. A group of us got up early and went to go see the sunrise at one of the lookouts here. And we got there, and we couldn't see anything. And it was all foggy. There was no view, no scenery. And so we just kind of sat there and sang for a while. And this is one of the songs we sang. And it took on a whole new meaning for me. Um, I believe in the sun even when I can't see it, even when it's not shining. And that really impacted me. And 
I thought of the fog in a lot of ways depicts our future, especially in these times where a lot of things have changed, especially in these last few weeks for us. And as we go home, sometimes things can look really foggy. But yet to know that God's love reaches through the fog and he cares about us through these times. And so I just want you to be able to take in the message of this song and realize that God's love reaches out to you even when it seems at times that he is silent.
Jesus Lover of My Soul. It's been one of my favorite songs for a long time. And there's a lot of phrases that I really, really like and that really stand out to me. But one of the ones that stuck out to me when I was singing it right now was, Plenteous grace on thee is found, grace to cover all my sin. And one of the things we were learning in James class was about how God gives great, greater grace. He gives more grace. And he gives grace to those who are honest. And so I just want to learn how to be honest. And that's the way to receive grace. And that's the power and that's the life that is from God and that gives us what we need to live. And it covers our sin.
the next song we are singing is an African song in an African language. Uh, I can't quite pronounce the language that the song is in. Uh, it has some interesting sounds, and there's one that's in the song that we have struggled with a bit. Hopefully we can put it in there. Um, but I'll, the title is Ndiko Kele Bawo. And I will read the translation so that you know what we're singing. He paid for me by dying on the cross, my father. He paid for me by representing me while on earth, my father. Father, I thank you because you will always keep me safe. I implore you to lead me so that I may follow during times of sorrow and strife. You are always standing nearby. And in this time of possibly sorrow, as there are people dying in our country because of the virus and other sorrow of not being able to do things that you normally would be able to do, God is always standing nearby. He is with you. He is with us. So... Think of those words as we sing the song.
that concludes our program. However, we have a small audience back here in the corner, and somebody requested that we sing May We Reflect You Again. So you get one bonus yet. <coughs> And so we pray for us, and we hope you shared the prayer as well. May you reflect Christ, wherever you are, whatever you're doing.
this concludes our program. Thank you so much for joining us and um, participating. Hopefully you could join in worship. We wish you God's peace, God's joy in whatever you're facing now.